You continue to stream the hotspot here live on YouTube, on Facebook, and KUM TV. And now I want you guys to ask questions in the comments if you guys so desire, because we got a great interview right now. The Guam National Guard is standing up a new space control squadron. And joining me now to talk about what this means and the efforts going into such a massive, massive and technical project are Lieutenant Colonel Jeremiah Hitchner. Colonel, how are you? Oh, thank you for having me. I Very good to it. see you. Wel thank welcome you. to the welcome to the um, studio, sir. And an amazing mission, to say the least. Yep. Yes, sir. So we're actually standing up a defensive space control unit for mm -hmm. here on Guam. We have 71 personnel. We've currently recruited the 30 people that are actually on my books and mm -hmm. supporting it. And we're sending people to school. We actually have the first graduate of enlisted undergraduate space training, Javin Delgado, Staff Sergeant. He just graduated this week out at Vandenberg Air Force Base. So we actually have our first thing. That's a real big win for us. Congratulations, Mr. Delgado. Okay, we'll, we'll try and get him on. You know, we'll, we'll try and I mean, you know, permitting if the DOD allows us to and we'd love we to interview him about that. Yes, sir. I will definitely bring him back in and get him out to the studio. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay. Perfect. So, Colonel, for people that, that may not be familiar, everybody has heard of like the Space Force, the newest branch of the U.S. military. I just got to say, because I'm a marketing major and th these kind of things like really motivate me as a civilian. What is the motto of the Space Force? Because everybody knows, you know, the Marines looking for a few good men. The Army goes rolling along and everything. Um, Navy's not, it's not just a job, it's a venture. What is the Space Force? Semper motto? Supra, always above. That's the Space Force's uh, motto. So nice. a good one. Um, and as we as the Air, we're still in the Air National Guard mm -hmm. as our unit, and we support the Space Force. So we get pulled over. But yes, all our guys are aligned to Space Force, and we're attached to them. Mm -hmm. So we still follow the motto, and we still do all that. Um, and like I said, we have the patch on our side that we started to wear just this week. The Air Force allowed us. Could I get you to turn yep. to the side, Kurt? Which, Maybe we can get a shot of that if the, if the camera guy goes. That, that is a beautiful patch right there. So Space Force. I yes, like sir. that. that so really, really you'll start seeing this more and more on island. Hopefully over the next couple of years, you'll see a lot more of it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very Guam being so strategically uh, located is very um, big on having to have space units here. So there is mm -hmm. there's a great stance for uh, more Space Force entities out here. We just happen to be one of them that's out here that's being known mm -hmm. um, as we move forward too, as for the guard itself. It's a great uh, for the government of Guam to have this because we can support more than just the federal mission. Our personnel are fully trained in space. Uh, they are uh, fully up and um, they can actually support uh, functions for the government of Guam during like typhoons or anything like that, getting commercial imagery and commercial support. Very cool. And we, and we certainly appreciate that. So, you know, on, on behalf of all of us and the civilians, especially us here at KUM, because we've always had such a positive uh, relationship with the military, thank you for all that you do and, and for the service that all of you have, have taken up. Yes, um, sir. Where would you or where can you draw the delineation for those of us civilians that are still kind of fuzzy on exactly what Space Force does between what the Air Force has, has always done? Because I grew up in Jigo, so like I'm just like a few miles from literally yes, from the entrance to Anderson Air Force Base and now what the Space Force is doing. No, so what we end up doing is we pulled those. The Air Force has always done space up till three years ago. Mm -hmm. And what they did was the government actually pulled those entities that were doing space outside and pulled it into its own service. So they stood up from there. The Air Force still does flying planes and still uses ISR that we support from Space Force to give to them. So they still use some of our functions. It's just how we realign a little different. Those big ISR drones. Yes, sir. Oh, so, those are nice. And then those ISR drones actually use space SATCOMs to fly. Mm -hmm. So when you see the Global Hawks fly out of Anderson, they actually use SATCOM linkage that we support from Space Force or commercial entities. And what I do for my mission is I actually watch those links to make sure they're not interfered with. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the key things we do. As far as the difference between Space Force, Air Force, it's if it's flying and it's in the air, it's probably Air Force. If it's up in space, it's us. There is my units really from the ground up. I watch all those SATCOM satellite communications and make sure they're clean and every, nobody's messing with them. Mm -hmm. And I, I have the ability to actually see if somebody's interfering, where they're interfering from. And I feed that up to my space or the Air Force brethren so they could strike it or retaliate if needed. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to draw on my, my marketing background, if I may, yes, sir, Colonel, because the commercial that you guys had that ran on, I know, you know, I, I know it ran during the Super Bowl and, you know, um, many, many national programs. It showed like a young person, you know, like um, very prototypical, like young kid somewhere in Nebraska, looked up at the sky and saw like the stars and said, I wonder what's out there. So for young Guamanians that that are contemplating, you know, what else is out there? What's up in the sky? Can I make a career out of this? Can I serve my country to do that? What kind of career opportunities would be available to us? So 100% uh, for Space Force, they're constantly recruiting. So you can reach out to a recruiter for Space Force if you want to go active duty. If you want to stay on island 
and be part of the Guam Air National Guard, we have positions open and we are actively recruiting right now. Our recruiting is at 85%. We're not having a hard time recruiting, so get in soon while there's still opportunity. But we are recruiting specifically to the Space Force and having uh, good ASVAB scores. Um, we do have a uh, higher mark for ASVAB to get mm. people in just because of the technical skills and those things needed to actually operate our systems and understand orbitology and all those uh, physics things that come with our, our capability. Mm. What kinds of uh, skills does a does a high high functioning high like you know well performing like a, a space force member I, do they typically have stem i would assume is probably like one of the number oh ones. yeah i would love stem is great but I, and the main thing really is uh, computer uh, knowledge computer understanding if you can code or you can do that space force is really big on coders and mm -hmm. bringing them in and they allow us to uh, have a little bit more leeway than most other services with actually interacting with code and actually improving our systems if we can so they're very big on doing that, and they're mm. very big on um, making it, uh, like you said, the STEM piece. Like if you have that, or if you want to pursue STEM degrees, I need officers, I need enlisted, I need everything on my side. Mm. So also like having a lot of um, self-discipline, obviously, um, uh, leadership qualities. And, and yes, it's funny sir. because some people might go to you and it's like, oh, Colonel, you know, like a, I know how to program for the cloud. And you're like, son, we actually operate above the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. No, that's good. And I mean, obviously even, telling very, very lame jokes is not going right. to endear me to, you know, the U.S. military. No, but you're but. good, sir. But there, there is uh, things where we're advancing in the space side. There's going to be clouds in space, uh, cloud in space where mm. they're pushing information off of multiple satellites forward. Mm. Uh, you're talking, we're just on the verge of getting past geo where we're talking cislunar. There is more. I mean, we you're in the, the infancy of the Space Force. If you come in now, you're talking like uh, where they were laughing at people talking about jet fighters. We're laughing at people going beyond the moon. We might be talking about in 20 or 30 years, and you might be part of that getting us there. Mm -hmm. So that's what Space Force is, getting into this and getting here. The future is just bright from this mm -hmm. side. May I ask, um, as, as a member of our U.S. military, what does it mean to you to literally wear that patch, but then also, you know, in in the manner in which you conduct yourself and, you know, doing shows like this and telling people, like, this is what we're doing, this is in defense of our country, and we need your help. And everything. I mean, you're literally bearing the colors of this brand new branch of the military, which is already doing fantastic work. Yes, sir. I, I think it's a great thing. I spent 16 years in uh, AF Space, Air Force Space Command prior. That was Air Force side. So I've lived and breathed this. I did cyber. I also did space in that. And uh, being able to come over here and they stand up a space force and we can wear the patch to show that we're connected with them is a great big deal. It's, uh, it's awesome to be able to stand uh, with them. But once again, we still haven't been completely pulled over. So until that happens with like a Space National Guard, that's mm. what we're waiting on. That's when I'll be super happy. Mm. Okay, and then just, just one more question if I may, Colonel, yeah. because you know, again, uh, I've been fortunate to interview so many people, you know, officers, enlisted men over the years. How's the food? Oh, the food in the Space Force. It's good. It's not uh, it's not space ice cream out of the bag. We get the regular ice cream from the Air Force. So they feed us and they mm -hmm. keep us good. So Air Force, we do a little bit better and they uh, make sure we got good golf courses, good food, good place to sleep. So I'd always recommend either join Space Force because we use the Air Force mm -hmm. and you don't have to deal with all the uh, the Air Force stuff, but you come over Space Force side. That's Very cool. So, hey, M MREs are fantastic. Yep. We're big fan We're big fans of MREs here. All right. Okay, so Colonel, thank it's you nice very much. You. Thank yeah, you so much. A pleasure. And please All come right. back anytime because we would love to catch up with you again and find out um, what's going on with this and how our local community, which is, you know, ask any Guamanian, you know, would you like to serve in the military? You'll get like 50 guys like lining up around the, around the block ready to serve. So we'd like to catch up with you in the future and find yes, out sir. how that's going. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. All right, thank you so much, yeah, Colonel. All right, please stay tuned, everybody. We will be back with more Hotspot when the show returns.